Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It's Francesco here. And what we're going to do in this video is review an application on iOS and Android. I've already reviewed this before as a web clipper and the application is called Zoho Notebook. Now Zoho Notebook essentially tries to be what Evernote is, tries to allow you to capture notes across your day, allowing you to sync it across all of your devices through different mediums, through different multimedia. So we're talking notes, checklists, audio, images, drawings, all those sorts of capture. So what I'll be doing today is reviewing the iOS version and talking about some of the features that it does have. So when you download and you install uh, Zoho Notebook, you basically need one account. Once you've got that one account, you can sign in through your Android device or through the web clipper, and it obviously all syncs in through that. So the one thing you do when you start out is you create these things called notebooks. Now I really enjoyed setting up the notebooks because it, it was quite visually appealing. So the thing you do get with Zoho Notebooks is once you set up all of your notebooks, you get a view all notes and you get a stream of all of your notebooks. So once you've got that set up, you can actually create notes inside all of these notebooks. Now down at the bottom, you'll see a bar, which is indication of what type of note you'd like to create. You can create a regular note, which uh, is just a regular note. You can add text, you can add images, audio, and also drawings in line, which is quite cool. Um, down at the bottom, you also have audio, image, checkbox, checkboxes, and drawing as well. So these all are really great features. So I'm just gonna show you some of the features I did enjoy. The audio was very impressive. Uh, it was quick to capture and very, very clear. Obviously uses the native uh, audio recording on your device. The photo adding was quite good. Uh, you were able to just add stuff, which is quite handy. There was uh, no video, no image editing, which was quite strange, but not really a big uh, game changer there. The checkboxes, which you can use, are very handy. This experience of using checkboxes on Zoho Notebooks really reminded me of using Google Keep. Uh, obviously, when you start a note inside of Zoho Notebook, you can actually change the color of the note, which instantly reminded me of Google uh, Keep. But then again, it really did remind me of a clear, crisp experience that I did enjoy. And finally, the drawing feature, which was pretty crazy inside Zoho Notebook. Yeah, but they did have some intricate drawing features inside here. So you can use a pencil, you can use a felt tip, you can use one of those uh, like highlighters, which is crazy, and an eraser. And the color quality and color detail you can go into is ridiculously high, which is really great. Now, one thing I did like uh, of the experience was the, the gestures. So you can actually open notes in a very creative way. You can flick them open, uh, you can peel them open, and you can even merge notes as well, or you can flip through uh, your notes at the start, which is pretty cool. Now, one thing I was impressed by is obviously I've reviewed the web clipper version. You can see that up here and actually go and watch that after this. It syncs pretty well. Um, obviously, when you have the notebook up in your, um, your Chrome extension and then you clip something and it comes straight down to the mobile version, all you have to do is refresh and it will come up. But anyway guys, I really enjoyed this experience. Uh, no, Zoho Notebook, obviously sometimes I don't advocate uh, an iOS or mobile only experience, but they've done a good job. Uh, so it's available on iOS, Android, iPads, um, which is great. They've also got a web clipper. I'm sure they'll add a Mac and a Windows version soon. It would be a huge market for them and a great opportunity for them to expand. But I'm really optimistic about the future for this app. Uh, I wouldn't say it's an Evernote, uh, I would make this bold statement, it's between Google Keep and Evernote. It's like in that interim. I think if they add more devices, I think if they add more functionality, I think if they add uh, a detailed organization experience, they would actually be in a boat of competing with Evernote. But if you are looking for a really simple, really fun, and really creative experience for note taking, this is really great. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you like Zoho Notebooks or are using it at the moment, do comment with some of your experiences, do share it with the community. Uh, but if you are a notebook uh, lover, then also do comment about what you use in case you use an offline like physical notebook or you use something like Evernote, etc. Let me know what your thoughts are and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And as well, do like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because I do put out regular videos. It's not just a one-off sort of review. I do tons of, I do Mondays and Fridays. So just uh, subscribe and you'll get those weekly videos. 
Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.